But in 1935, Einstein thought he'd finally found the Achilles heel of quantum mechanics. Something so strange, so counter to all logical views of the universe, he thought it held the key to proving the theory was incomplete. It's called entanglement. The most bizarre, the most absurd, the most crazy, the most ridiculous prediction that quantum mechanics makes is entanglement. Entanglement is a theoretical prediction that comes from the equations of quantum mechanics. Two particles can become entangled if they're close together and their properties become linked. Remarkably, quantum mechanics says that even if you separated those particles, sending them in opposite directions, they could remain entangled, inextricably connected. To understand how profoundly weird this is, consider a property of electrons called spin. Unlike a spinning top, an electron spin, as with other quantum qualities, is generally completely fuzzy and uncertain until the moment you measure it. And when you do, you'll find it's either spinning clockwise or counterclockwise. It's kind of like this wheel. When it stops turning, it will randomly land on either red or blue. Now imagine a second wheel. If these two wheels behave like two entangled electrons, then every time one landed red, the other is guaranteed to land on blue. And vice versa. Now, since the wheels are not connected, that's suspicious enough. But the quantum mechanics embraced by Niels Bohr and his colleagues went even further predicting that if one of the pair were far away, even on the moon, with no wires or transmitters connecting them, still, if you look at one and find red, the other is sure to be blue. In other words, if you measured a particle here, not only would you affect it, but your measurement would also affect its entangled partner, no matter how distant. For Einstein, that kind of weird long-range connection between spinning wheels or particles was so ludicrous, he called it spooky. Spooky action at a distance. When you have one particle here and one particle there, and they are separated enough that there is no signal able to allow them to communicate, and they still seem to be talking to each other, then is a big mystery. What's surprising is that when you make a measurement of one particle, you affect the state of the other particle. You change its state. There's no forces or pulleys or, you know, telephone wires. There's nothing connecting those things, right? How could my choice to act here have anything to do with what happens over there? So there's no way they can communicate with each other. So it is completely bizarre. Einstein just could not accept that entanglement worked this way convincing himself that only the math was weird, not reality. He agreed that entangled particles could exist, but he thought that there was a simpler explanation for why they were linked that did not involve a mysterious long-distance connection. Bell turned the question into an experimental question. It wasn't just going to be about philosophy or, or trading pieces of paper. And the experiment that he envisioned could be done. You could really set up an actual experiment to, to force the issue. Clauser set about constructing a machine that would finally settle the debate. Now, I was just this punk graduate student at the time. This really seemed like, uh, wow. <laughs> There's always the slim chance that you will find a result that will shake the world. Clauser's machine could measure thousands of pairs of entangled particles and compare them in many different directions. As the results started coming in, 
Clouser was surprised and not happy. I kept asking myself, what have I done wrong? <laughs> what mistakes have I made in this? Clouser repeated his experiments, and soon French physicist Alain Espée developed some even more sophisticated tests, with one going to the heart of the Einstein Bohr debate. In Espée's test, the only way that measuring one of the particles could directly influence the other would be for a signal to travel between them faster than the speed of light, something Einstein himself had shown impossible. The only remaining explanation was spooky action. And so Aspe's experiment removed virtually all doubt. Quantum mechanics is true even in the most mysterious and the most weird situations. The results of these experiments are truly shocking. They prove that the math of quantum mechanics is right. Entanglement is real. Quantum particles can be linked across space. Measuring one thing can, in fact, instantly affect its distant partner, as if the space between them didn't even exist. The one thing that Einstein thought was impossible, spooky action at a distance, actually happens. <laughs>